There's no perfect way to inflate a saline implant. If you want the implant to be soft like this one, this is actually a leaking implant, but it illustrates the point. If you want it to be nice and soft, then you run into the problem that it collapses and forms folds. So how do you avoid the folds? You overinflate a saline implant, but as you overinflate it, look how it starts to get more round like a ball. And if you overinflate it enough, you start to get stippling around the edges. So that's the dilemma with saline. You overinflate it enough so you don't get bad collapse like you do when it's underinflated, but when you overinflate it too much, it looks round, ball like, and you get the stippling. So there's a happy medium between the two, but there's no perfect way to inflate it. What you get with silicone implants is a way of maintaining this kind of a softness without having the jiggling or the folding and of course avoiding this real round bulgy kind of look with the stippling on the sides.